Hey guys, it's me, Carrie. Sorry, as always, for the craptastic light, but when it's yucky outside and it's kind of gray and rainy, I don't always get the best daytime light. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon, and I was afraid it would be already kind of dark for shooting, but I did get a surprise little friend mail today, and I have literally no patience whatsoever, so I have to open it now, and I didn't want you guys to miss out. So I got this adorable hot pink package from my sweet, amazing friend Jen, who is the mama of Coraline the Wonder Cat. If you want to check out the most amazing Instagram page for the most adorable cat pictures in the whole wide world, you have to follow Coraline the Wonder Cat. C-O-R-A-L-E-A-N underscore the underscore wonder underscore cat, I believe. But I will double check that link and make sure I have it correct. I'll post it in the Dropbox. You can also follow Jen, but I'm telling you, Cora, Coraline has the most adorable pictures ever. Corey is her nickname, but Coraline is just oh, the cutest cat in the whole wide world. But I'm just so stoked. And I have no idea what this is. It's a complete surprise to me. Oh, I feel all kinds of little things. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, first on top, I feel some adorable little heart puffy stickers, which I'm trying to pick up and not drop all over the world. They're really, really cute. This one says, be mine. We have one that says XOXO, which I'm famous for signing off with. This one is LOL. And this one is an LOL in pink. So we have a pink one and a purple one in LOL. Then here we have, oh my gosh, this is so stinking cute. It says, I like watching our friendship grow. And it's a little gorilla. And I had one of these so long ago. This is how long ago it was, you guys. It was Gremlins. You guys, I hope, are familiar with the movie Gremlins. If you're too young, go back and watch it. It's a great movie. But I had a Gremlin, but it was like, not Gizmo, the cute Gremlin. It was like the scary Gremlins. And I had one of these. You put these in water and they grow. And it shows you here the instructions on the back. You put it in like a glass bowl or a jar or whatever. You add water. After 24 hours, it grows, 48 hours, and then 72 hours, it gets to the largest size. It says, fill a large container with water, room temperature, place your grow toy in water. Grow results are not immediately noticeable and take a few days, so be patient. For best results, let your animal soak in the water for at least 72 hours, three days, adding water as needed. Maximum growth will take about one week, depending on the time in the water and the size of the container. And it comes out like gooey and fun, and they're just adorable. And I love this little pink gorilla. He's so sweet. And there is another sticker in here. This one, it says cutie. Very adorable. Then we have, oh my gosh, there's like a stack of goodies here. We have this little valentine from jennifer and it says i choo choo choose you and it's brains it's a zombie and it's a little tattoo and i love it i take part in different card exchanges my friend mary is like the instigator of all this and she recruits people through her instagram page that want to take part and she usually caps it off at around 15 or 20 people and i did the Christmas card ex no I did the Halloween card exchange I skipped Christmas only because stamps are expensive and I already had a bunch of people that I typically send cards to and I still didn't even get to everybody so I skipped the Christmas card exchange but when she said I'm doing a Valentine exchange I'm like I'm back in baby so this is Jen's version of a Valentine card exchange all of these wonderful goodies that I have this adorable sheet of stickers and there is a sloth i am like obsessed with sloths did you guys watch the puppy bowl on super bowl sunday there was an assistant referee this year and it was surely the sloth i told my husband if he never wants to buy me another present for the rest of my life he needs to buy me a puppy a baby piggy that will never grow too big and a sloth and he's like yeah good luck with that ever happening my love but I told them, if you never want to buy me anything ever again for the rest of my life, those three things are done. Oh my gosh, and these are all sloths. Oh my gosh, I love these stickers so, so, so much. And Jen had no idea about this sloth obsession of mine. I can't even take it. 
Then I have this adorable, is this a gummy? Oh, it's a gel cling, even better. This is an adorable, you are great, and it's a little shark. How cute is that? Um, thank God it said on the back, it is a gel cling, do not eat, because I would have just shoved that right in my mouth. Ah, <laughs> there's a grumpy cat. I don't care that it's Valentine's Day, I'm napping. I love it, I love it, I love it. And then on the back where it says, happy Valentine's Day, happy is crossed out. It says a sticker, oh my gosh, is this a sticker? Ooh, that's even better. I don't know if this is a sticker, if maybe there's a sticker somewhere else in here, but I could certainly use this as a sticker. It'll probably go in my junk journal. Just glued in just like that. Oh my gosh, Jen, you went nuts. This one says, make a splash Valentine, and it is SpongeBob and Patrick. I love it. I love it. I love it. This one is a little kitty. It says, you are adorable. Oh my gosh, Jen, you are too much, girlfriend. This is so much fun. <gasps> Then there's this adorable puppy dog. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's stuck to a little envelope, but you know I'm going to try to peel him off here. And if not, I'm going to cut around it. And he's going in my junk journal too. And let's see what's in the little envelope. Oh my gosh, I'm so wild about you with the tiger. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have like a whole two-page layout of junk journal pages that are just going to be stuff from Jen. I'm so stoked. I just don't want to glue in everything because she signed her name on the back. So obviously, or else I'll just put stuff from Jen, you know, so that I remember that it's all goodies that she sent. This one says, your grape Valentine. And look at the little hamster. Oh my God. I'm obsessed with these. These are so cute. Shut up. Oh my gosh. It's Beetlejuice. I'm only saying it once. All right, Beetlejuice, I'm saying it twice, but not three times. Although I wouldn't mind if, like, Michael Keaton came to hang out. But if Beetlejuice came, I might have some problems. But this one says, I'm the ghost with the most, be mine. Oh, my gosh. And there, oh, I can't think of her name. That Winona Ryder played. Lydia. And it says, Happy Valentine's Day, love, Jen. Oh, my gosh, this is amazing. <gasps> this one <laughs> is frozen. It's Olaf. You are a treat. You are a tree spirit oh my god i can read well you are a free spirit valentine i love these this one is a little dinosaur prehistoric pals oh my gosh now my valentine feels so small and inadequate <laughs> this is too much this is so much fun will you be my valentine oh my god of course i will look at this precious kitty kitty i love it i love it i love it Oh my gosh, and this one is a Mickey and Minnie, I like you, and in case you didn't know it, they're sharing a milkshake. Here's a Valentine to show it. Oh, I love it. See, that one won't get glued in because it's got a front and back, so that one I'll save intact and I won't glue that one in. This one is You Are Monsterific, and I love me some Monster High. Oh my gosh, is that Frankie? Is that Frankie? I have a Frankie up there. No, that's not Frankie. Which one is that? I don't know all my Monster High girls. Laguna Blue, maybe? No. I have a Katrina Mew. It's not Katrina. I don't know which one this is, but she's super cool regardless. I love her. Then there's another Monster High. This one I know is Dracula. It says, I'm batty about Valentine's Day. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. It says, bonjour. And it's a little French poodle, and it comes with a stick, and you get to, like, scrape the colors out. So you get to color it in. I'm so excited. I swear I'm five. I live for this stuff. Oh, my gosh. This one is a little piggy, and it says hugs and kisses. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is absolutely overwhelming my little heart. I can't take it. Can't wait to wish you plenty of fun happy valentine's day oh my gosh so cute and that is my pet monster these are amazing and then this one is a happy valentine's day it says you are magical and it's got a rainbow unicorn and then this one comes with a little sticker and it says don't be jelly be my valentine it's a little jellyfish can you even I cannot even, I cannot even, I'm so stoked. This is overwhelming. I'm so excited. And then this one says, hope your Valentine's Day is popping. Oh, it's scented. It's bubblegum scented and it's a little llama and it's got a little sticker. Oh, let me see. Does the card itself smell? A little bit. 
And is it, what is this, a tattoo? I think this is a tattoo. A scented tattoo for you. So the tattoo is going to be bubblegum. Oh, I can't smell it yet, but I can't wait to use that. Oh my gosh, that is so precious. Oh, there's so much stuff in here. This one says, I'm tickled pink, we're friends. And it's Poppy from the Trolls. I love her. And that one comes with a little sheep sticker. Oh no, it's the little cloud. It's the little cloud. Oh my gosh. This is like, I can't, I can't even deal. There's another Valentine sticker here. This one's like a teal green and it says heart up. Uh, hearts it's a heart that says hugs oh my gosh I'm so happy right now this one says besties rock happy valentine's day and it's daisy and minnie mouse with a glittery sticker I love it I love it I love it oh my gosh I'm gonna need to do like a whole junk journal legit just of these valentines from Jen because I love them all so much this one says BFFF, best fashion friends forever. And this is another one with the trolls. And I love that guy. I always forget his name, but I love him because he's got his little friends. The trolls movie was really cute, by the way, if you haven't seen it. I thought it was much better than I thought it than I expected it to be. <gasps> There's another one of Grumpy Cat. It says, I'd rather be eating. Here, have a sticker. And look at Grumpy Cat with the heart. He looks so miserable as usual. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. It's going to be cat a boy or a girl. I always get confused. I shoot, I can't remember. Pusheen is a girl. Grumpy cat, I think. I don't remember actually if Grumpy Cat is a girl or a boy. I know you guys will correct me if I'm wrong calling him a boy. Then we have Never Forget Your Friends. Happy Valentine's Day with Dory and Nemo and an adorable sticker. I love it. This one says Valentine, we're better together, and it is Zoom Zooms, all stacked up with an adorable Donald Duck. Let me pull this off carefully with an adorable Donald Duck tattoo. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is just overwhelming. I can't even. This one says, you're Jawsome, <laughs> with Jaws on it, or friend of Jaws. This may not actually be the real Jaws. I don't know if he does photo ops, but... Anyway, this one is Ariel. It says, Happy Valentine's Day, Ocean Princess. I love it. This one says, Rule the Galaxy, my Valentine. And it is a Star Wars one that opens up like this. Oh, there's Ray. Very cool. I love that. And that is it, my friends. As if that was not enough. Let me make sure. Oh, nope, I'm wrong. There's one more thing in here. Oh my gosh, it says ARG. How cute is that little keychain? And on the back, happy Valentine's Day to Carrie from Jennifer. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Jen, seriously girl, you just blew my Valentine out of the water. I am obsessed with all these goodies you included. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just love, you know, I used to not love Valentine's Day. And I, it was mostly when I was younger, like when I was in, you know, high school or whatever, I never had a boyfriend and I always felt, you know, like they would do these stupid things where like you can send chocolates or roses or whatever to your friends in their classrooms. And I never got any, I always felt like the biggest loser and it just depressed the crap out of me. And then later in my life when I wasn't in a relationship, you know, sometimes it made me sad. And now it's not just because I'm married and been with my husband now for going on 18 years this November. But I've embraced Valentine's Day as not just a day for romantic love, but a day for all kinds of love. Love of your family, love of your friends, love of your pets. It's, I just think Valentine's Day should just be about love in general. And I don't need a specific day to celebrate love. But you know what? If Valentine's Day means that February 15th, I get to go buy half price chocolate, I am all about a holiday like that. <laughs> And especially now that I feel like I've got such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful circle of girlfriends in my life, many of whom I've not yet met in person and may never meet in person. Many of them I just know online exclusively. I've had the great, you know, fortune of meeting Jen in the city. She and my friend Mary and I got together in December and had the most wonderful, fabulous day in New York City. And we definitely have to do it again. It's hard because I'm on Long Island, Jen is in the city, and Mary is in Pennsylvania. So it's not like the easiest 
you know, most inexpensive thing to do. But I know we're going to get together again for sure because like these girls are just amazing. So I'm, I'm just, I'm really fortunate and so grateful to have such a wonderful group of girlfriends in my life. I call them my heart sisters and Jen is definitely among them. And so is Coraline because you can be a female cat and still be my heart sister. I call her my little niece too. I say, Auntie K, Auntie K loves you, Corey. And I just, you know, all of my friends that have kids or pets, I just call myself Auntie K to them because I don't have any nieces or nephews of my own. So I adopt everybody else's kids as my nieces and nephews and pets too. But thank you so much, Jen, for this wonderful envelope full of love. It just makes me feel so happy. And I was planning on junk journaling today anyway. So a lot of this stuff is going to end up in my junk journal. Uh, not all of them because then it would literally fill the whole book. I'm just going to pick and choose a few, and the rest, of course, are going to go into my special box where I save all of my cards and letters, which is something that I've been doing since I was at least 12 or 13 years old. So I literally have probably four or five at least photo boxes filled bottom to top with cards and letters. And I save them forever and ever because they're so precious to me. You know, seconds to photographs of inanimate objects, obviously not counting people and animals, Photographs and letters are just probably the most prized possessions that I own because they're from the heart. They represent, you know, personalization. It's people's actual handwriting. It's, you know, it's sentiments that people wrote or chose, you know, specifically with you in mind. And they mean the world to me. So this made me so, so, so happy, Jen. Thank you so much, girlfriend. Again, I will leave a link in the Dropbox for Coraline the Wonder Cats. Instagram page. If you want to smile and just have the most fun ever, she wears outfits and she loves to wear outfits. I can vouch for this. I've seen her do wardrobe changes in person. This is not one of those, oh my gosh, you know, why do you put that poor cat in clothes? Corey loves to wear clothes. She is a fashionista. She's an absolute doll. The sweetest cat you'll ever possibly meet. And I'm speaking as the, the proud mom of two kitties. My cats are nowhere near as nice and friendly as Corey is. But definitely check out Corey's, face, uh, Corey's Instagram page if you love cats and you want to just smile why this can be because Jen posts such great stuff every day on that page. I love you, Jen. Thank you so, so, so much for making my day. And I will be back soon with more stuff, guys. Bye.